Hi there. I'm here with Michael Williams of Princeton. Seems like you just missed out on making the final. Yeah. How was your first experience with national championships? Uh, it was good. I mean, I came here last year with a DMR. Um, oh, okay. Sorry. And uh, it, you know, it's definitely something that's really cool to like make it for myself. Um, last year I was definitely like sort of carried by my team, and this year I kind of made it for myself. So I just even making here was awesome. I never planned on like doing that. Um, didn't even think about that like for this season. So. It's definitely awesome to be out here. Um, I mean, this place is awesome. Yeah. Indoor Nationals is like sort of a sweet thing where it's just like the 16 best people, so uh, it's cool. Yeah. So you're pretty pleased with your indoor season overall? Yeah, definitely. Overall, uh, definitely. I wanted to break forward, and I did. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, I really didn't think that that was even going to happen. So, And you know, obviously I made internationals. I was third at our conference meet, and uh, it was some really good guys, you know, guys that were here today. So it's like... You know, it's really good, and for me, it's like a huge springboard to out outdoors. Um, sort of the first season where, um, you know, I've really had some real success, and hopefully, get some confidence, like believing that I belong at this kind of stage, which you know I do. I do believe that. So, you know, hopefully, I'll be all American outdoors. So, so this maybe change your plans even for next year. You might you try and use it's, that. Yeah, it's funny. I, I uh, somewhere. Yeah, I uh, I thought I was gonna be done with running for sure this year. I. I I like I'm fortunate enough to have a job lined up. Oh, really? So I was like, okay, well, you know, I just give this this last shot, you know, like maybe win an Ivy League title, yeah. you know, I have these time goals, but maybe I'll break them, maybe I won't, but yeah. it'll be fine. But the day after I broke four was the first time since I since senior year of high school where I was like, man, maybe I want to keep running yeah. after college. So I you know, I feel like I really haven't hit my ceiling. Um, so I don't wanna I don't wanna quit while I I still feel like I have more to give. So, I mean, yeah, I think I think I'll at least do running in some capacity next year, um, and then maybe you know, 2016, 2020, try to try to make the trials, try to make the Olympics. Who knows? You know? so, yeah. um, and uh, so, you don't, you don't think you're going to go to another college next year? You're definitely going to do this job. Yeah, I think I think I just like this job. Is like I got, I was really fortunate to land like a pretty cool job, and I only have cross country. Um, for eligibility, oh, right, yeah. and so if I had track, like maybe I'd be thinking about it. But yeah. because I have cross, um, you know, I, I just feel like I don't want to put that much on hold for like, one cross season. So um, you know, maybe if somebody comes to me and they're like, "Hey, we'll give you a full ride here for the fall," you know, yeah, I'll try yeah. to postpone my job for yeah. five months. But yeah, um, I think I'll just probably do it on my own. I'll actually be in Princeton, so oh, no. hopefully I'll still be working with the team a little bit, working with Vidge, and yeah. trying to get some more training in there. How so. has it been working with Vidge? It's been awesome. Yeah, you know, I was really fortunate to have like Coach Dolan for two years. He's yeah. at Penn now. And he really brought me along and brought me to a level where like having Vidge now sort of he has like incredible mid distance experience and really he's brought me along. Like no one would thought that I'd be here, no one thought that I'd break four and just working with him, he knows how I work and he knows you know, what to do. And I really believe he's one of the best mid distance and distance coaches, you know, in the country. So luckily enough he's at Princeton, you know, so it's it's been really good. Yeah. What's the plan now? Have you talked about taking a little break and then building up for outdoors? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we're fortunate enough to have like a little spring break uh, trip to Florida. So we'll go out there, we'll have a training trip there. And then uh, I think the next big thing on the dock is we'll be going out to Stanford uh, first weekend in April. Just get that regional time, kind of put that in the bag, and then look for the end of the season, you know, Penn Relays, Heps, Outdoor Nationals. I'd like to go after our school record, which is a 339 in the 15. So, you know, it's 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 lofty, but at this point I feel like I'm, I've like set these goals at the beginning of my season, and I've already gotten a lot of them, so i got to set new ones. So, yeah. So the 1500 is going to be the main focus? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll run some eights, and I might even want, run one 5K just to, just to mix it up a little bit. But after this season, it just looks like it's my biggest strength. So. Yeah. Right, thanks so much. Well done today. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you so much.